Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I am doing my declutter video. Now, earlier in the year, late last year, early this year, I went through and showed you my collection. And while I am a collector, I have gotten so overwhelmed with the amount of eyeshadow I have that I just didn't want to use any of it. So, I am going to be doing a declutter. All of these items will be available for sale on Instagram or uh, Macari. If you see something in this video that you like, then you can go over to my IG and message me, and I'm sure we can work something out. Um, I won't be asking for a lot, but a lot of these palettes are gently to not use at all. Um, so yeah, we're going to just go through, I'm going to show you, give you a little bit of information of why I'm letting it go, and then probably in about two months I will do an updated collection video to show you what I kept. So first I have these little profusion th gift sets that I had gotten in mystery boxes that I just... I'm not going to use. And it's got lipstick on one side and some eyeshadow on the other. I got a couple of those. Now I will, some of these have been spoke for and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because I can't give you details on something I didn't use. But I do have these little You Can Be palettes. The Berry Cola. the pink mojito the my honey the light chocolate and the fruit punch now these have been spoken for they are going to a friend of mine so we'll get those out of the way and then I had a bunch of these in the mystery box. It comes with eyeshadow on one side. And over here it's got three eyeliners, a brow pencil, and a brush. And these came from Profusion. I have a few of these. Then I have this peach palette by BYS. It was It's really good quality. I just don't need it. I have enough peach palette. Um, I've got some profusion. I've got, I've got everything. We're going to just go through and grab what's over here because I have tons of it everywhere. And I have two more of those profusion flawless kits. I have a total of three. Some of this might end up in giveaways. We're going to just, it'll be everywhere. And then I have this little perfusion kit. It's got some gel liners, eyeshadow, and brushes. I have this perfusion violets palette. It is sealed, never been opened. This perfusion emeralds palette, not been opened. I have this Cara Beauty Midnight Garden palette. It is beautiful. It is pigmented. I just, these are not really shades I use all the time. And if I do, I have them in other palettes. I have the Profusion Rubies palette. The Profusion Infatuation palette. The Profusion Wonderlust palette. I have lots and lots of Profusion and I tried to go through and get rid of the ones that I had similar shades of. So that is that stack. Then I have a lot of dupe palettes from Bad Habit Face Candy, the brand that went out of doing makeup and is now into skincare. And then these are the Ocalon palettes that I got. That one and this one. Sorry if I'm blinding you in any way. Then there was this milkshake palette. Very pretty palette. Just 
don't need it can't use it on the channel this was a lime crime dupe don't use it this was a uh, dupe for a Kat Von D palette very pretty palette don't need it this was a dupe for I believe the Alice in Wonderland palette and that is what that looks like it's got a cute little mirror so a lot of you will see a lot of dupe brand palettes in here because I am trying to get rid of the ones I'm not going to use and that you can't get then I have this natural palette was supposed to be a dupe for the matte and metal palette from Kat Von D that is what that looks like we have all kinds all kinds of stuff I'm just going into the bucket and then I have this uh, from Nika K it's the sunset sangria palette this was a boxy or um, slay glam palette very pretty I just don't need it won't use it the packaging is stunning then I have these two from Beauty Creations the Cali Chic set and that's what those look like beautiful palettes just don't need them these are two little palettes that I had gotten from Shop Cherie to do a full face with I won't reach for them these were a brisk a brand that was um, briefly at CVS I haven't been able to find it since but these are two little uh, diary series palettes from Ruby Kiss Cosmetics then I have this uh, NYX Brights palette uh, it, it's alright it's nothing to write home about I have this uh, Nakia K makeup this is the sugar plum these are supposed to be dupes for the Huda palettes poison apple watermelon splash birthday cake now most of these haven't even been swatched Blue Ocean Eyes and Oh Honey. Those are some cute little palettes that I picked up from Nakia K. They're a pretty good brand. I do like the palettes, they do work. I just really don't need them. So. I have this little palette from Revolution Beauty. Now, this is another um, dupe brand that is now skincare, Bad Habit. This was the um, dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I have this from the Balm I received in a box. I have this palette from Makeup Revolution. It is the ultimate neutral palette very pretty palette I have this little one from Milani this shade broke on me I didn't have very good experience with this Milani palette and then I have this elf uh, this is the need it nude palette and then this is the mad for mattes these are great little palettes I just have newer ones that I will use this is a dream state palette it was a dupe for one of the Fenty palettes that bad habit came out with I have these two little wet and wild palettes they've been opened but I mean I don't even think I swatched them maybe I got the Aries and the fire the earth and fire 
Then I've got some C Color Cosmetic palettes, which I know, I can't believe I'm getting rid of them either, but I just don't need them. I just don't. They just take up room and they make me crazy. Okay, I had this one in there too. It's the uh, Nakia K Under the Sea palette, and that's what that looks like. Okay, now we're going to go into some C Color Cosmetics palettes. Um, this is one of their newest ones that came out. This is not a dupe for anything. It's just one that they created. And I will clean this up and spray it. It is kind of a messy palette. And it was only swatched. Um, so yeah, this is all shimmers. It's pretty. Then I have the Cabana palette which looks like this. I believe this is a dupe for the Rivera, Riviera palette, possibly. Um, I, I just won't use it. It's not anything that speaks to me. This is a dupe for the Jeffree Star Blue Blood. I did use this in comparison with the Blue Blood palette. It, it performs amazingly. You could not tell which eye was which. I just don't need too much blue eyeshadow because I don't really wear it. This is the Frost palette, which is a dupe for one of the Kylie palettes. This Whimsical palette is a dupe for one of the Norvina palettes. These palettes are beautiful, pigmented, and I love them. I just don't need them. I have the original or similar color stories. This is a dupe for, I believe, the Modern Renaissance. Yeah, I think so. No. Um, soft Glam. One of those palettes. But that is also from C Color. This is a dupe for the Jackie Ina, and it performs amazingly. However, I have the Jackie Ina palette, and I love that palette. This is Birthday Bast, which is a dupe for one of the Kylie last year birthday palettes she released. So these are all from C Color. Now I have some more perfusion over here that I'm going to be getting rid of. I have the Sienna's palette. I already have that palette. The Naturals. I just don't need that many Naturals. This is missing two shades, but this is the Pro Pigment palette. Everything else is still in good condition. I have the Makeup Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette. This palette is good. I would say it's more beginner friendly because you can build it up, but I just have too much to work with a palette. I'm not, I'm not going to put in that much work. Um, but it is a decent palette, and you can get color payout from it. You just got to build it up. So... Let's see what else we got over here. I got more and more and more. So these are some more of the um, dupe palettes that I have picked up along the way from C Color and such. This is the dupe palette for the Natasha Denona Gold. Now I have this in the Alter Ego formula that I like better. This palette has not even been opened. I have this palette, which is a dupe for the Clover palette. As you can see, when it came, this kind of shade got everywhere. I can't clean it up, though, if anybody's interested in it. But this is a dupe for the Clover palette. It's called Fairy Tale. This is the Juicy palette, C Color palette, which is a dupe for one of the Kylie Summer palettes. This is from You Can Be. It is a dupe for the Naked Heat palette. I have a video up here on my channel where I use this side by side with the Naked Heat palette. And I think this one actually kind of performed it better. Then I have this palette, which is the Rose Gold palette Huda Beauty dupe. It is called Nightfall. Also from C Color Cosmetics. This is a dupe for the Huda, um, the remastered. So 
so that's what this one looks like beautiful palette it's called sundown again from c-color cosmetics this is the beauty glazed dupe for one of huda's palettes also very pretty colors it works good just will not use it as you will see i have hundreds in this same color story and then i have this makeup revolution pro that looks like this that's also a huda looking dupe okay here are some palettes that i'm sure people are going to be surprised i'm decluttering but i just don't need all of this so the first one will be the color pop uh-huh honey i have the um urban decay honey palette and i really don't reach for these shades a whole lot anyway so i'm going to go ahead and declutter this one this color story is just not my thing um this is the aura and out I just won't reach for it. I have these colors in my like meant to be and other color pop palettes. The next one is Making Moves. I have these shades probably 300 times in my collection. And I'm just not going to let it sit here and go to waste when somebody else can get some good use out of it. That is the Making Moves. This was a limited edition. I think I swatched it and that's about it. It was the ColourPop Biddy Collab. Beautiful palette. I just, I've never touched it. You can't get it anymore, so. Okay, another one I have is the Ooh La La palette. Um, I like pinks, but I just have so many pinks in my collection that I never find myself ever reaching for this. So I'm going to let this one go. Then next I have two by Peachy Queen. I love Peachy Queen. I love her formula. These are just not color stories that I reach for. This is the Summer Bloom by Peachy Queen. That is what this palette looks like. Her formula is great. I just don't use them and the 90s baby and that is what that one looks like I have the ice cream and the cake and I've got these colors a hundred times in my collection so I'm just gonna let that one go I love the packaging though truly cute then I have a couple Cara Beauty that I'm gonna let go this is what this one looks like this glitter, half of it fell out when it came in. And this is the Beach Days palette. I love Care Beauty. I love their formula. I just don't reach for these. And then this is the Summer Stunna. This glitter also came filling out. You can still get some out of it, but yeah. So anyway, with that. And then I have this Beauty Bakery proof, proof is in the pudding. I use this palette. It's pretty. It's just not something I'm going to reach for. So I'm going to let it go. Then I have, um, I have a whole bunch of these, but this is from the Daisy Marquez from BH Cosmetics. I've never even swatched this palette. The packaging is really cute. It's got like a mirror. It's a little keepsake box. I was keeping it for packaging, but we... We can't keep doing that, Stacy, because we just got too much. So, then I have this little LA Color 16 eyeshadow palette. I believe it's called Playful. This is going to be tossed. It's old. It was one of my very first palettes. But this is the Amber Eyes palette from Perfusion. This was in my... 2019 favorites then a bunch of boxy palettes that I just am not going to use this is the Dominique sweater weather the Violet Voss essentials one the pure festival palette the 2.0 
and the original Pure Festival palette. Not my favorite formula, not something I'll reach for, so maybe somebody else can get use out of them. I'm also going to be getting rid of this Rio edition. These two shades came in busted. I did repress them, but I have never used this, and I'm sure somebody else would get way more use out of this than me. It's the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio edition. Then these are from the brand Color Story. I picked these up at Target. They are great palettes. I just don't need them. So this is the Velvet Rose. Looks like that. Pretty little cool tone palette. Empress. Never even touched. Got the plastic on it still. This is Decadence. Beautiful warm fall palette. Mystic Trance. Has a little bit of color, but it's pretty much a cool tone palette. Karma, which is a beautiful palette, and I have used this one just a little bit. Some of these shimmers, they are super pretty. If you just look at the color payoff, they're beautiful. I just don't need them. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. Next, I have some Makeup Revolution palette. I have a love-hate relationship with Makeup Revolution. The palettes that they came out with recently with the ones in the tin pan, those are really, really good. I'm not saying these aren't good. I'm just saying that I bought quite a bit of them when they first came out, and I just never reached for them because I was always buying quantity over quality, and that's why we're in this situation. So... I'm not saying these are bad. These are just not used. These are their chocolate bar palettes. This is the Cranberries and Chocolate. That is what that one looks like. The packaging is super cute. I love the packaging. Then I have the Chocolate Elixir palette. That's what that palette looks like. This one I won in a giveaway, but I probably won't use it, so I swatch it. And this is the Cream Brulee. This is the Nudes. I did use this one when I first got it. This is the Peanut Butter Cup. That's what that one looks like. Now, these palettes are really good. They're just not crazy pigmented. But they're, they're good. They're quality. You can use them. This is Red Velvet. Excuse the kitten screaming in the background. She's looking for its mom. That's what that one looks like. Okay. We've got this one. This is Death by Chocolate. That is what that palette looks like. These palettes are really pretty. I just wish I didn't have so much so I would have used them. These, this is a 24 karat gold. This one is beautiful. And they do smell like chocolate. This is the Salted Caramel. This one is super pretty also. This is the Strawberry Cheesecake. I did have a few of these that I already sent off to a friend. So that is what the looks like. And this is the I Heart Chocolate. That's what that one looks like. This is the Violet. Super pretty palette. Purples are one of my favorite eyeshadows on the eyes. I just have too many of them. Then I have these little palettes. These are really good. These are pigmented. This is the Red Alert. This is the Iconic Vitality. These are a lot of dupes for like um, ABH palettes. 
This is the Neutral 2 with that little palette. Then I have this little Air palette. And this, this is the uh, metallic pigments. Their metallics are very nice. This is the Emily, the Needs palette. I did keep the Wants palette, but I just don't reach for palettes like this. This is the Tammy palette. Excuse the reflection. This palette is gorgeous. I have only swatched it. I just have all these colors a million full, and I won't reach for it. Now, these were um, duped for the Naked palettes. These are all very good palettes. This is the Iconic 2. The Iconic 1. Now, if you're a neutral lover, these palettes are perfect. This is Iconic Elements. This is Romantic Smoke. I have cats. See my thumb? and Iconic 3. This is my favorite one. I actually used one and repurchased this one. That was when I first got into makeup. This is the Berries palette. I had a shade fall out, but this is from BIS, which is an Australian brand. These are actually really good palettes. I just have that color story forever. These two will be tossed. These were two of my first palettes, and they are from Forever 21. This was the neutral and this was the smoky. This was before I really knew anything about makeup. So, that are those. Then, we're gonna start going over here. I have the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH. I think I swatched it once or twice, maybe used it once or twice. Nothing wrong with it, just won't use it. The Aura Lights palette. This is a baked uh, eyeshadow formula. This palette is really, really pretty. The shades are gorgeous. I just have like five or six of these and I'm just not gonna use them. And then this one is the Gal Galaxy Chic, which is super stunning. I did keep one of these, but I think it was a solar flare, but the other ones I'm going to let go. Okay. Next, I have these palettes. These I got off of Amazon. This is from the brand Delancey. These palettes are stunning. This is the first one. It is the eye catching. I did a uh, video with this one. Super pretty. This is the Dream Purple. This is from the glitters, but they still work just fine. And this one is Dream Purple. This palette is the one that caught my eye to the brand. This is the Avocado Green. Green and blue are not my favorite to use, and I seem to have hundreds of them. And then this is the blue one, which is super pretty. That glitter is everything right there. But it's called Space Blue. Then I have some other little BH palettes right here. I have the I was going to collect all these, and then they were never in stock, and then I just gave up on it. This is the Capricorn palette. I haven't used any of these. That is what that looks like. This is the Aquarius. Super pretty like that. This is the Aries palette. And that is what that one looks like. That, if any, I was going to keep any of them, it would be this one because I'm a warm tone lover. 
Then I have a couple dupe palettes from C Color. This was a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Lila palette. The color story just doesn't really speak to me. So these are palettes that I got off of Sheen. They're from the brand She Glam. I did keep some and then I'm going to be getting rid of some. This is what the palette looks like. These, these are really good quality for the price. This is the uh, bubble gum. And this is the breeze. Now I was, I watched another girl swatch these and some of these are like duochromes. So I don't want to put my fingers in them because I'm not keeping them. Then I have these. I, look, I know everybody says these are great, but I tried them. I didn't like them. So I'm not going to keep them. This is the Ruby's Obsession. The Amethyst. The Topaz. The Sapphire. And the emeralds. I think they might have been used maybe once, swatched. I know they were barely used because I didn't like them. Another controversy, I'm sure, is going to be that I find these kind of powdery and I don't really care for them. Um, this is the Marvelous Mauves. the baked browns and the pretty cool I did keep two of them I think I kept the blushing berries and the siennas because those two I do like the color story on then I have a couple Milani palettes I just don't need these there's nothing wrong with them and that is the one I have enough drugstore I didn't need to keep them if they're not something that excites me. This is the other one. And then this one. And I used this one in a video and it worked really good. Just not a color story that I will reach for. Enough to keep. Then I have some more Bad Habit. Palettes that I... Um, I'm going to get rid of only because I can't really use them on my channel. Um, this is the After Dark palette. The After Glow. The After Shock. And the After Charge. So those are those pretty little palettes. These are really good. I wish Bad Habit wouldn't though went away because well they had good stuff okay so another bad habit palette this is the solstice this is the supernova now these palettes are heavy they are good quality they blend very easily I, I just don't know why they went away oh that one's broken then I have these little Nakia K palettes. This is the Lilac Twinkle, the Blue Hawaii, the Lime Mojito, and the Peach Me. And I've got makeup everywhere, all over my hands, under my nails. Oh, mess! So those are those palettes. And I, we're getting down to the bottom here, I think, finally. Then I have um, the vault. Nothing wrong with them, just don't use them. That is the Dark Magic. The Armed and Gorgeous. The Lig Boss. And the Ring the Alarm.
These are from BH. This is the Lavi Prince. Didn't care for this one. Nothing wrong with it, just not my cup of tea. And then I have these little free palettes I send. The Illusion and the Midnight City. Then I have some of these Revolution palettes. This is a Salvation palette. Girls on Film is what it's called. This one is called Give Them Darkness. That is what that looks like. This one is called Unicorns Unite. This is Run Boy Run. A couple more bad habit. I got the Athena, which looks like this. These palettes are so pretty. I wish this brand didn't leave. And the Aphrodite. Then I have this Ulta Here for the Cake 15 piece eyeshadow palette. It is super pretty. I just will not use it, so time to pass it on. Then I have a couple bigger palettes. that I'm going to be getting rid of. Ooh. This is the Beauty Creations Elsa palette. That is what she looks like. The Beauty Creations Olivia palette. That is what she looks like. The James Charles palette. I don't think I've used this but twice. I just, I, I'm not, for one, I'm not buying any more big palettes. I just, they, I don't reach for them. But this is what that looks like. And then this is the 39A palette. Again, I probably used this twice. I was tempted to depot these for bronzers, but like I have 300 of those, so why? Someone can get use out of the whole palette. And then this is the Morph, one of my Morphe palettes. It is the 35B. I got the new um, Lisa Frank one, so I'm going to let this one go. And I think that will conclude my declutter. I'm still going through so there might be more. I will put a count in the description box and then when I do my updated palette collection video I will give you a count of what I kept. So if you enjoyed this video or there was anything in the video that interests you you can head over to my IG. It's flawed fab underscore and you can hit me up and let me know if you want them and we'll talk price. Um, like I said, it probably won't be a lot. I just want to get this out of here and uh, make room for new things to come in to review and to enjoy. So until next time, ladies and gents, let's build each other up, be proud of who you are, and always stay beautiful. Much love.